Hello and welcome to another episode of Blender. This time I will be utilizing the new asset browser for Blender 3.0 and I will also be using the free add-on generators to help speed up our work. So uh, let's get into it. I will be building the beam, the wooden beam. And then we can get into the fun part. If I go to the go to my top view, create a cube, and I will press N on my keyboard. And I have the value with me 70 centimeter. It's the width, and Y and Z will be 10.5. This is the beam. And I can see my scale value is off. So I can press Ctrl A. Rotation and scale. My scale value is 1. So now I want to give a little bit thickness to the edges. And I can go into the edit mode. Select all. Press Ctrl B. And then I can just add some detail and one more edge loop to it okay fine so this is good enough and now we can get into the fun part i will bring up my asset browser so i can use this timeline window i'll click click and drag and press shift f1 and shift f1 again so this is my <clears throat> asset browser current file so in this current file i don't have any assets so i will select this is the user library i have generator selected oh, sorry generators i've created and when i select i have these assets to select and play with so what i need is a rope okay so i will click and drag and drop it where is it this this is my rope i can just bring this down and then all i can do is bring the rope down and probably go to my side view and scale it down and i can rotate it in the z axis 90 degrees so i'll enter 90 on my keyboard okay <clears throat> i don't need these first so i can go to my settings and i can actually make it zero okay so editing and modifying this rope is very easy so hit the tab button to edit and these are our points to play with press g and we can move around and it will it will expand accordingly so I go to my right view going back to the object mode and let me just place it properly here or here okay now what I will do is go back going back to the edit mode I'll select this point and I can press E to scale sorry E to extrude and then just come down and press R to rotate scale down the bezier line and as you can see press g to move it is already getting better so i can select press g to move and somewhere like this press scale to tighten up and then move it out just a little bit you can already see we are getting there fine so now i will extrude again and then extrude again and i can hit r to rotate to fix bring this here in the center and then this we can fix bring this up scale it just to tighten up the corner and then this one we can rotate and it will be fine press g to move and then select e to extrude again E to extrude again and then you can rotate it 
then just bring this bring this back and you get the idea so now what i want is i need to i need to offset this slightly so what i will be doing is going back to my wireframe mode select all of these and then just push it in slightly that's good maybe select this one and then press r move it just a little bit so it should be fine now i can select this e to extrude again and going back to my side view extrude again you get the idea extrude it down rotate the bezier curve bezier handle sorry bring it in just a little bit and we can just tighten this up it doesn't have to be perfect that's the point extrude it further down and then extrude it further down just to have a little bit of variation can bring this in just a little bit what i will do now bring the end part okay i have already created the end part and i have added it to my asset library but i will show you uh, just a little bit how i did it i would like to bring this 3d cursor here okay i'll select this point and press shift s and then i'll say cursor to select it shift a and i'll create a curve point this is the point right here bring up this settings select 3d and then poly so now what i can do is bring this out just a little bit and then extrude so extrude extrude something like this so this is my line where i can give a little bit of a thickness i'm just showing you this 3.05 okay so what i would like to do is bring the pivot point of this or yeah so select right click set origin to 3d cursor duplicate it and then press shift d to duplicate and then press r to rotate and then press z i can restrict and rotate around the z axis so let's say maybe just a little bit here okay if i am happy with this i can press shift r so i can quickly create okay something like this i can what i can do is select all of these and then make them one object okay, i'll select all of these press ctrl j and then duplicate and then scale it down just a little bit and rotate in z-axis around the z-axis just to give it a little bit of a uh, variation okay and you can play with the variation here so i will delete it because i've already created it i will do is bring up my asset browser there it is the rope end okay i'll just drop it in the scene and then it's way big scale it slightly more and i will selection to the cursor okay so i was just snapping it to the location so now you get the idea where this is heading okay cool so now i need this part to come down even further so let's do it edit tab mode way bigger handle scale to bring it down going to the side view bring this back here and then extrude again down 
rotate bring it here somewhere and then i can rotate uh yeah, extrude extrude so not making it straight you understand has to have a little bit of a variation uneven okay and same thing i can bring duplicate and even this one i would like to give it a slightly different uh let's scale it in z only just to have a little bit of a variation and actually i should align it in the front view okay and we'll go to the materials and then click this ball arrow select rope and then we have the same finish okay same thing with this one select rope okay so now we are ready to add the bulb so we'll go to the side view let's create a mesh and we can create a uv sphere so now i can bring it here scale it down so for the bulb this is going to be our starting point edit mode so i'll select all of these points and then delete okay now i can extrude extrude it down and extrude up just a little bit so this is going to be our lovely bulb that we always wanted okay fine we will apply we will be applying our subdivision surface to it so this is the bulb and the bulb will be having a holder select the faces okay and press shift d to duplicate and press p to separate the selection so now okay i can right click and say origin the pivot point to the geometry and then scale it out a little bit okay select both scale down just a little bit and give subdivision to our bulb okay so the bulb is fine so now what i need to do is maybe scale this out just a bit or actually i can duplicate and scale it out and rotate it so there is a little bit variation so we can hide it we can duplicate it somewhere here and then from the front view and align it and duplicate this scale it and rotate it around the z axis select and then scale it just a little bit here what you can do is reduce the height of this so it looks like it's all hidden yeah so this is complete now what we can do is select this whole part deselect this and we can start to move it around Just duplicate move it around duplicate some somewhere here and this time i would like to mirror it in the y direction something like this so the shortcut was Control m and then i selected m for mirror and i selected y axis the green is y you can see the green is y okay so just to give a little bit of a variation i can go in and give it slightly different variation to the length 
the Movid. Uh, you know, slightly giving it a different variation. Adjust the length. All of these I can move slightly. So I added a little bit of a variation where this is slightly different length and slightly different angle. Okay. Something like this. Now the remaining part is how to hang this beam from the ceiling. Okay. So we need some chain. So it's time to bring in the chain. So let's do it. Okay, let's call in our asset manager, the asset browser. So click and drag. And you guessed it right. This is the chain that I need. Click and drag and drop it. Close the asset browser. There is the chain. Here is the chain. The lovely chain. The chain is the same concept as the rope. We can modify it. The chain is quite big. I will scale it down. Scale it. Is this enough? Is this good enough? So let's rotate it. Bring it here. Go to front view. Let's bring in the chain from the center. Okay. Something like this. Let me bring in something. The central piece. It could be a simple. Let me make a simple uh, circle. Scale it down. Right. So edit mode select all and press f to close and then e to extrude in the z axis okay we can add detail to this but that's fine so let's say i would like to align my chain so if i want to bring the pivot point here the fastest way we can do it is the pivot point works with the 3d circle cursor okay so if i have this point selected and this is where i want my pivot point the origin so if with this selected press shift s cursor to select it so this is my cursor and then you come out and in the object mode right click set origin origin to 3d cursor fine now I can hit rotate and I can easily align it the way I want. Go into the edit mode, select this point. Either I can drag to extend, yeah, or I can extrude. It's all up to me. It's good. Then we need to align this. So let's make the y value zero. Okay duplicate and press G to move and then the final part is press Control M and the red is the X axis press X okay and then we can just align it visually how we want this is not good so let's bring this down just a little bit and then bring this down just a little bit okay okay so this is the pendant with the row thank you for watching hit the like button subscribe button see you next time thank you and bye bye